Hello friends and greetings for the day. Welcome back to another tutorial on ISTQB Specialist Mobile Application Tester. We are in chapter three talking about the test types and the test process for mobile applications and continuing ahead with the last topic <clears throat> of this chapter, which is 3.4, mobile test process and the approaches. As a part of any particular testing process, of course, the activities are supposed to be well known to any individual. So that's very important to talk about a summary of what exactly the test process of a mobile application testing would involve. And uh, when it comes to test process of the mobile application, we have actually discussed all of them or most of them in our previous chapters and previous topics. So this is where we just bring to you a summary of it. For example, uh, the very first activity will be again generic, that is test planning, which is about device combination that need to be tested. And this basically deals with the market strategy, understanding what group of people are you targeting, what kind of uh, you know mobiles are being used, which was again covered as a part of the very first segment of this chapter, uh, that is chapter one in the syllabus. Whereas the next one is use of mobile emulators and mobile simulators, which will be definitely uh, to meet the part of the test environment. And that is covered in section 4.3, special challenges in mobile application testing, which is further explored as a part of 1.7 in the first chapter. And we have covered them again, so we will not be elaborating them. If you need anything to be quickly reviewed, just go to these respective tutorials and you should be able to recall them. Also test types uh, specifically uh, required for mobile application testing. We just recently covered as a part of the same chapter. When it comes to analysis and design, we include app stores approval testing, field testing, device compatibility, kind of labs to be used, which we'll be talking in the upcoming chapter, and test types specifically, specifically required for mobile application testing is also covered in the previous segments. So there are a few topics which are yet to be discussed about, so device compatibility and kind of labs to be used will be taken into account in the coming chapter. Now test implementation and test execution, which we again know that is all about uh, setting up and getting ready for execution and running the test cases. So field testing is also a part of like executing the real time test, download and installability post-release testing and experience-based techniques, which coming to the experience-based testing, uh, we have covered few things here. Uh, heuristic, pneumatics, and all, but uh, in addition to the foundation level concepts like the error guessing, exploratory testing, and checklist based testing, which need to be taken into account. Also, to add to implementation and test executions, tests are based on platform guidelines for the user interface and the application starts. Tests based on guidelines will typically be run by the platform providers for their application store approval process which is also to make sure that there's a checklist by the uh, you know, store to make sure that you know, it is fulfilled before you upload them or publish them on the store. It is recommended to run these as application providers before handing over to the platform providers in order to avoid any possible rejection. So putting it all together, of course, these things will be a part of the test process as a generic uh, guideline that you start with the planning, analysis and design, then implementation and execution and cover them up as a part of this entire syllabus. Also to add further uh, mobile test process and approaches, we have test approaches, which is generally the strategy which can be used for mobile application testing. Now, mobile application testing includes activities to be performed by developers and uh, as well as for the testers. Now, determining the appropriate depth of testing per test level, which includes the several levels of uh, testing to be organized and conducted, are important for delivering good quality products. The depth of testing needed per test level depends on many factors, such as app architecture, app complexity, and intended user audience. Now mobile application uh, development platforms provide a variety of tools to support testing at various levels. Understanding the tools and how they can be applied at a given level are very important. For example, a mobile simulator or a mobile emulator can be used at the component testing level if there is a need to take advantage of the platform provided framework and instrumentation APIs. In addition, mobile simulators and mobile emulators can be used at system testing level as well 
when actual devices are not available in order to reduce your cost and minimize your budget to do some internal testing. Of course, uh, if you really want to have some kind of criticality involved, you would prefer to do that as a part of real devices. Now this enables testing for functionality, limited aspects of usability, as well as user interface. So everything gets covered as a part of these old testing within these confined environments. Now furthermore, earlier implementations can serve as a key point to ensure that the devices are set up correctly and all the prerequisites for the execution will be met on time. Now unit and integration tests are also important as well as manual testing, which includes especially the field testing stage. It is very common for mobile apps to flip the test pyramid. This means that there can be many manual tests. So if you see, you know, you're talking about the test pyramid. If you quickly want something, you can visit my Agile Tester extension tutorials. And there you would find a great topic and explanation on the test pyramid, which is already inverted for Agile. So generally we write a lot of automated tests there, but for mobile applications, it can be inverted and you can make use of a lot of manual tests in order to execute them to validate the functionalities of these mobile applications. So putting all together, that is one thing we heard about the test process altogether, what activities can be performed and organized as a part of the test process for mobile application testing. And on the other hand, the test approaches, what are the factors which should need, need to be considered in order to design and perform the strategy for the mobile application testing. So that's all from this particular tutorial team. Should you have anything else, feel free to comment below. I'm always there to address your queries and answer them well. In our next tutorial, we'll be getting back to you with the sample questions from this chapter. Till then, keep learning, keep exploring, keep understanding the context. Thanks for watching the video team and happy learning.